Hello guys, here's a quick tutorial how to fix your uh, laptop or PC, uh, whatever you're trying to to fix there, you know, an operation system wasn't found, try disconnecting the drives that don't contain operation system, okay guys? So basically on the screen there, let's put the light is in a good, in a bad position, so on the screen there guys, so basically what says in there is will be below the video, okay? Exactly what, what says in there, now this varies from machine to machine, <laughs> But basically this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a, a CD or a USB drive in Windows, okay? So in this case is Windows 10. I just created this disk. Now if you don't know how to create a disk uh, or you think you're gonna do something wrong, uh, then check the links below this video and I can, you know, I can email one to you, okay? I can ship one to you. Check out uh, the links below this video. So you're gonna need a disk. You're gonna need your license key that you will find in the need the computer this is a green sticker, it's got your license key there, you're gonna need that later once you try to install, you can see there is a, a extra fund that we use to cool this, this system in this case okay, I've just been cleaning it all up as well uh, the next thing you wanna do is you want to unplug anything, okay, mouses, whatever you have plugged to the machine or um, memory cards you wanna unplug anything from the computer, okay uh, now, the next step is to get into your bio, so you're gonna get on a, on a on your BIOS, you can see there on the screen, it tells me to press the control key, the alt key, and the delete key, okay? Uh, you can see straight away, press the escape key, okay? Press once, okay? And this will take you into into your BIOS, there it goes. So it gives you the options there, guys, this varies from machine to machine, but in this case, it tells me to boot the device, all I need to do is press the F9. If I want to go to the BIOS setup, I would press the F10. So if I press the F10, so let's press here the F10, Okay, it's gonna give you this option. Now, uh, it, this varies from machine to machine, like I say, guys. So, in this case, we're gonna to go to system configuration, and you're gonna see here what you have in this side here, okay? And sometimes what you need to look for is legacy options. So, you're gonna go down, don't don't change anything here. You're gonna just go down using the arrow key up and down. You're gonna to go to boot options, and basically on this window, you wanna find, uh, you know, um, the option that's gonna allow you to use legacy settings. So in this case, this machine, uh, we don't have that option, so the way to get to it, uh, what I'm gonna do now is showing another way to get into your BIOS. So I'm just gonna press the off button, okay? And then I'm gonna press the on button again, and as soon as I press the on button and the machine starts, you're gonna press the escape key again, okay? Just press once or twice, that's it. And we just wait, it gone back to the BIOS. Now at this point, what we're gonna do, we're gonna press the F9 key, okay? Because this one, it tells me there that the boot device options is the F9, so we press the F9 key, and you can see it's already set the uh, internal hard drive. So we're gonna push that down, because we're gonna use the hard drive. The hard drive is where you're gonna put your CD. So remember the CD I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you're gonna put your CD in there, okay? Gonna close it. Once you press close, you're gonna press enter. Now this is gonna be quite quick, so you press enter once, and as soon as the machine is gonna tell you, you need to press any key, to continue, you just press any key, okay? So there it goes, as soon as, it, this is going to be quick here, okay? As soon as it shows up, you press, okay? You press it once, you can hear the disk just start moving, okay? And now we went for the Windows flag, and from here onwards, all you have to do is just follow the screen, set up passwords, etc., etc. So there it goes, guys. Here's how to fix the problem where operation system is not found. I'm Zenuns, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and post your comments below this video. Again, if you want a CD like this, uh, feel free to check the links as well below the video, I'll be more than happy to ship one to you. Thanks for watching, bye bye for now.